The industrial age has given modern life on Earth convenience and mass products. But we have a very big problem with this convenient lifestyle. We have too much waste and pollution that is killing our planet. Now, are we going to destroy the Earth or are we going to stop the damage in its tracks? Now, this is what some Americans think. Well, I think, I think pollution is, is making... I can't speak just for America because it's all over the world, but as far as America goes, I think, I think pollution is... <laughs> pollution, pollution is making, making America... It's, it, it's, uh, it's ugly to drive down the street and see, see garbage on the streets and garbage overpiling dumpsters. And, and uh, I, think, I think we should have a lot, a lot uh, stricter... Let's say recycling, recycling laws and littering laws, and for garbage disposal, everything should be the whole process should be done differently. Um, I don't know. Basically, they're just going to keep polluting it until they choke on it and die. You know, I mean, it's just like after a while, it's kind of unavoidable. You know, it's like a big sit on it into your nose. You know, it's just like fucking there. You know, and there's no way to get away from it. And it's just gonna keep building and building and building up until pretty soon it's just gonna fucking fall right over on people. You know? I mean, it's gonna get to the point where, where the, like, the government and shit won't let them, like, dump things, so they're gonna have to put their garbage in, like, their backyard or whatever, and they're just gonna start throwing up their house and they're just gonna choke on their own fucking shit. Well, it's, the Earth is feeling a little bit of sick. Do you pick up garbage every day, Nico? Yeah. Do you like to do that? Yeah. Do you like to recycle? <laughs> Sometimes I do. Sometimes. Can you help me recycle? Can you help us recycle? Yeah? United States citizens generate more garbage than any other nation. Over 160 million tons of garbage each year, or more than 1,200 pounds per person. Do you think you're doing enough? No, no. I mean, I could, I could be doing so much more. And I, I don't know why I don't. I don't know, maybe it's just because I'm lazy, but it's like if I... I don't know, everyone could do so much more. I mean, they're, like in Germany, I think it was, I, someone told me who lived over there that they can only have a certain amount of garbage every time their garbage is picked up, like a container that big. They have to compact all their garbage, shred it up or whatever to get it to fit in there, and everything else has to be recyclable, or else that garbage has to sit in their house till the next time. And it's like if they end up with too much garbage, it just builds up and builds up. But the, the county or state or whatever it is that they live in refuses to take more than the allotted amount that they're allowed to. <clears throat> and I think we should do that. Um, I'm glad that it's becoming trendy to recycle. I think any way you can get people to recycle is great. And um, if, if making it trendy is the way to do it, then that's, that's terrific. But I think that it needs to mean more to people just a trend. I think it's, it's like a needs a, a fundamental change in how we see ourselves in relation to the earth and realize that without her we don't exist. We cannot control her. <laughs> what do you think of the burner? The garbage burner? Yeah, it's downtown. It's ridiculous, man. It's just, it's horrible. It's like, <laughs> it's just, well, for one thing, it, it depletes the oxygen in the air that we breathe. I mean, right now, the oxygen level is supposed to be even up past like 20% oxygen in the atmosphere. And right now, it's probably down to like 15, you know, or even less than that, maybe it's down to 12. Places, you know, and, and, and suffocation in humans occurs at 7% oxygen. You know, in places like LA and shit, it's like, they're probably like down to like 10% oxygen. You know, we're ready to fucking just like start choking. And that'll happen here pretty soon, too, if we keep making more factories and shit, and the burner just adds to it. I think there's not a much, much I can do, but I'm sure it's like spewing filth upon me right now. And 
probably going to make me have Alzheimer's at... Well, we could blow it up, but then True. the amount of pollution by blowing we'll it up would be, would be yeah, great yeah, but old, for a too. short time, but we could we could destroy it or... That's, that's, that's the only solution, really. It, it would have to be destroyed. I suppose. Then again, it's like this whole thing, oh, they'll just build another one. Oh, uh, that big thing they just built. <laughs> Downtown. Yeah. yeah. Um, it creates really pretty clouds to look at, you know, when the sun's setting. But other than that, uh, no, I, I think that I was pretty pissed when they built that. I think it was pretty, uh, you know, pretty sick. And it was nice because Minneapolis didn't have anything major like that, you know, a major air pollutant like that besides the everyday basic things. And then they put that in and it just kind of makes you... Like, oh, you know, great, Minneapolis is, you know, not as clean as it used to be anymore because of it. Wait, wait. Oops, I missed some. Things are so fucked up, man. They were making plastic back in the 1940s, man. And now, finally, it's the 1990s. People are realizing how fucked up things are. It's too late, man. It's fucking too late for love. You know, it's too late to fucking save the fucking earth, man. It's already dead. You know, but there's there's no problem in, like, in like keeping it clean and shit. I mean, that's cool. I think, I think all over the world, I think people are starting to really genuinely be concerned more about uh, political issues and... and and environmental issues and animal rights, I think people are genuinely starting to be concerned about the situation. So we're we're just we're just gonna have the earth we're just gonna destroy the earth. Well I'm saying yeah. that, that the only yeah. solution either human beings will destroy the earth or there will be a violent revolution and just kill everyone that doesn't Well either yeah because they, if they don't recycle <laughs> they should die because it's be a humans plague. are pollution. I figure it's gonna be a plague. You know it's it's helping to make people more aware. And it's, you know, and because it's becoming a trendy thing, all the trendy people are doing it. Hopefully they'll stick with it, you know. And then there are the original people who cared, and hopefully they'll stay with it. And then hopefully the people who weren't as aware, as aware before will be aware now and will do it. But on the other hand, it's like, once again, where I work, we started selling things for recycling, trendy things like plastic bins to divide your recycling stuff into, like a plastic bin for glass, a plastic bin for paper, special crates that you throw your paper in so you can easily tie it, stuff like that. I mean, what do you need that for? That's just sheer laziness, and it's creating more, you know, it's like it's made out of plastic, so there's pollution where it was made. It's like when you get bored with it, don't want it anymore, decide not to use it anymore, it's going to get thrown away. It's just a waste, you know. Target's making money off of you because you're gullible and buying it, you know. It's just a vicious circle. Now, after listening to these few people, you, the viewer, should think about what was said and what you can do to save our planet. It's your choice. You decide.